Hi, welcome to Jen's This and That. I was going to do a hair thing, but we're uh, we're really overcast right now. We're having um, some rain. We actually get some rain in the desert in January sometimes. Not every year, but we are this year. So um, there's not good enough light to do what I wanted to do. So we're going to do a tip, a little hack instead. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that lotion bottles are getting really hard to open. Lotion, shampoo, liquid soap, um, a lot of times you just can't get that stupid thing to pop. It used to be left and right, you could turn it and it would just pop open. And now a lot of times it's not opening and you have to wrestle with it and it's really hard to do. Um, I work in retail and a lot of times we'll have seniors come in, uh, they have arthritis or someone with carpal tunnel and they just don't have the grip strength to, to be able to open it. And so they'll bring it either for a return um, or they'll if we're lucky, they'll come see a clerk and say, you know, can you help me? Um, and the first time I encountered this, I just, we went through like three or four employees and no one could open this stupid bottle. And so I actually called, I had the time, and I called the company and said, hey, we assume there's a trick to this. Can you help us? And she did. She told me what to do. So now I'm going to share that tip with you. Um, so when you look at the bottles, the way they're making them now, um, they're doing this because with shipping to other states and other countries and overseas um, and a lot of companies are using warehouses and they go in this tote that quick easy open thing that would just pop open they pop open in the tote and make a big mess so now what they're doing they changed up how they make these bottles you've got the part it's three parts you've got the part that screws onto the bottle you've got the part that you're gonna do your pumping from and what we want to notice here is this part in the middle what you're going to have to do is grab that while you unscrew your bottle because they are going to want to go together. If you just try to unscrew the bottle, they go together and you either take it off the bottle or this thing just spins around depending on how they've made it. Um, this one is really easy to see. This makes a good one for the camera, but a lot of times they're a very small section that you can't even pinch. They might be inset or it's just such a thin section. You can't even grab that stupid thing and they can be really tricky. So what we're going, I have not opened this bottle yet. So maybe, maybe it's easy. I have no idea, but once you open it, you can't close it. And I had this, it's the only thing I need to open right now. So we're going to use this one. I bought this empty bottle at Cutie, the Japanese dollar store. And I filled it with a body wash that I had, um, that I hated the, uh, ergonomics of the bottle that it came in. What you need is two rubber bands. So a regular rubber band is just fine. Another thing that's going to work great is those little, you know, those little hair, hair ties, but it has to be the elastic-y kind. If it is fabric-y, it's not going to have the same grip. So I think for the video, maybe I'm going to use this black one because you can see it better. So you're going, you're going to Oh, I might not use this one because it's really thin. And actually, the hardest part, <laughs> the hardest part is getting your stupid rubber band on the part you want it to be on. Because you need it to go around that tricky spot, but not in the little cracks. And that actually can take a few tries to get it right. And um, I don't know if I can do it right away. That's going to be half the video, is trying to put a rubber band around my bottle. Yay! So, I'm going to try this. I know we're going to get it. But I'm not going to edit this out because you need to realize it's not just you. Ah, so that worked. So what I did was I folded my rubber band in thirds before I put it on. You don't need this crazy tight. You're not trying to strangle the thing. You just need it to be on there enough that it won't fall off so that you have the grip. And now you're going to grip where the rubber band is and you're going to unscrew the pump. If you get confused between what's left and what's right, you're thinking like a clock. Clockwise is right and anti-clockwise is left. So righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, just like a light bulb or screwing a, tightening the screws in a doorknob or whatever. So we're going to grab that and we're going to lefty-loosey and I'm going to hold it closer to me because I have to grip it tight. Ooh, I feel it, it's coming. But I'm really glad I have that rubber band because that was all trying to go together and I would have just spun it around and around and never opened my stupid bottle. 
So, ta-da! Isn't that cool? It's a wonderful trick. And now I no longer need my rubber band. Um, that's a real game changer, being able to to know that and to open these stupid bottles and not have to uh, take them back to the store. So that is one of my favorite little life hacks. I usually hate the word life hack even, but this one was a big deal and I work in retail so I come across this a lot a lot of people don't realize that the uh, how they make the bottles has changed so I hope this tip was helpful to you and one of these days I'm going to do hair stuff I have about waist long hair and um, I want to do some one stick wonder buns I think anyway so it's YouTube you know how this works if you like my videos if you want to see what else I do I'm really just starting out but feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.